My guest today is Jessie J, and she'll be singing one of the most iconic COVID songs ever, I Will Always Love You, originated by Dolly Parton. After we listen to her version, I'll give you the meaning of the song from Dolly Parton's perspective. So that's worth staying around for. It's a short video, but it's something I needed to do because so many people have said, have you heard the duet version of I Will Always Love You? There's a group version, there's an a cappella version, and a solo versions, many, many people recommending this song. And in fairness to a lot of you out there that contacted me and said, look, cover this song, I decided I would. But this is the version we're going to hear. And in my opinion, and I hate to disrespect those that left the comments, I would like to say this to me is the best version of this song. It's almost like listening to Whitney Houston herself. Jessie J is a very underrated in many, many ways English singer. And in my opinion, this catapults her back up for everyone to say, wow, Jessie J sang this like this? Yes, she did. And it's featured on YouTube as well. But in my opinion, it deserves millions more views. And I'm gonna prove why in a minute. She appeared on a Chinese talent show as the guest star, and even they were in awe. And you can see the audience swaying, and it's a beautiful video to watch. It's just, Jessie J to me has so many levels we don't really know about. I believe she's already, uh, she recently had a child as well. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, but congratulations, Jessie J, I did see you pregnant and doing different photo shoots and different songs and appearances even when you were pregnant and your voice always captivates me but how coincidental that you Jesse J are singing a song that's been so requested and it's the best version it truly truly is it's a bio channel everybody a quick bio on who Jesse J is she's Jessica Ellen Cornish known professionally professionally as Jessie J, an English singer. Born and raised in London, she began her career on stage at the age of 11 with a role in the West End musical Whistle Down the Wind. She studied at the Brit School, that's very famous for Adele, Leona Lewis, other Brit singers, before singing with Gut Records and striking a songwriting deal with Sony ATV Music Publishing. And they've never looked back, I'm sure, because she's an incredible, incredible live performer. Check her out on YouTube and you will be so glad I've introduced you to her. I Will Always Love You, the song she's going to cover, is originally recorded by American singer-songwriter Dolly Parton. We'll discuss that after the video. Written as a farewell... Oh, am I getting... No, written as a farewell, sorry, to her business partner and mentor, Porter Wagner, expression Parton's decision to pursue a solo career. The, so the country single was released in 74 and the song was a commercial success for Dolly, twice reaching the top spot of the Billboard Hot Country songs, first in 74, then again in October 82, with a recording for the best Little Whorehouse in Texas soundtrack, and that's a brilliant film, light-hearted film. You want a Saturday night, bit of popcorn, it's, don't fancy going out. Go on to Netflix, look for The Best Little Whorehouse and Texas Soundtrack, and just have a laugh. She's brilliant in it, by the way. Whitney Houston, as we all know, love R.I.P. Whitney, but you're still so legendary in the songs and your interpretations, especially this one. Well, she recorded a soul-based arrangement, as we all know, for the 1992 film, The Bodyguard. Houston's version peaked at number one on the Billboard Hot 100, and then a record the record breaking 14 weeks. Now, the single certified diamond by the RIAA, and for those that don't know, is the Record Industry Association of America, making Houston's first diamond single, the third female artist who had both a diamond single and a diamond album, and becoming the best selling single by a woman in the US. The song, as we all know, was a global success, topping the charts in almost all the countries with over 20 million copies at the time sold it became the best-selling single of the time by a female solo artist it was also the world's best-selling single of 92 and houston won the, the grammy award for the record of the year in 94 
for I Will Always Love You. The song has been recorded by other artists, many and too numerous for me to mention here today, but we are going to listen right now to Jesse J's guest appearance, oh, this is some years ago, singing I Will Always Love You. It's about six minutes, seven minutes, so what I suggest is make sure you've got a cup of coffee, glass of water, sit back, relax, and savour the, in my opinion, the very underrated Jesse J that ought to be at the top of your list when, on YouTube when you're searching for singles and songs and something different. She certainly has that.
Well, everybody, I'm sure that will change your mind about Jessie J. She really, really accentuated perfection there and both in her performance, her delivery, her emotions. It's different, even though it's very reminiscent of Whitney Houston's great, great version as well. I believe Dolly didn't like all the oohs and the ahs in the song when she recorded it. It was very personal for Dolly. And we're going to get on to a little bit of bio about the song itself. The real story behind why Dolly Parton wrote the song, I Will Always Love You. You see, you get it all here. You get a bit of bio about the singer, you get the song, and then you get sometimes the lyrics, but they're so famous we don't need to. The lyrics mean different things to different people with this song. But of all the legendary songs Dolly Parton has written in her illustrious career, I Will Always Love You remains as one of the most iconic. Dolly's version hit number one on the charts twice in her career. When she first released the song, and even though I'm repeating myself, bear with me, 74, and again when she recorded it in 82. And all together now for the best little whorehouse in Texas. It's a film, check it out. It was the theme music. And of course the ballad became popular all over the world when Whitney Houston recorded a version for the movie The Bodyguard. Perhaps the reason I will always love you has struck a chord with so many listeners through the years is that it has such strikingly simple yet heartbreaking lyrics. It's a straightforward passion behind the words that make the song so timeless. If I should stay, I would only be in your way, it says, and so I'll go, but I know I'll think of you each step of the way. And I will always love you. I will always love you. And yet Dolly did not write the song about a romantic breakup. It was written about a professional one. In 73, Dolly hit a roadblock in her relationship with Porter Wagner, her mentor and on-screen duet partner. She'd agreed to star on his TV program, The Porter Wagner Show, for five years and had done so with great success. But she was ready to go out on her own and make her own career. Thank God. Thank God. Wise woman. Unfortunately, Porter wasn't ready to see her go. And they were butting heads over the decision. Of course, he knew the minute she went, he'd be nothing. It's the first time I've heard of him, to be honest. There was a lot of grief and heartache there, and he just wasn't listening to my reason for going, Dolly said, way back in 2011. I thought, well... Why don't you do what you do best? Why don't you just write this song? So I went home and out of a very emotional place in me, at that time, I wrote the song, I Will Always Love You. The next day, armed with a new song, Dolly walked back into the office and asked Porter if he could hear her out for a minute. She sang, I Will Always Love You to him. And Porter was overcome with emotion. I can imagine if Dolly was singing it, and you are Porter and she wants the breakup of this relationship professionally. It had to be so emotional, but to sing a song like that would have been heartbreaking. He started crying and Dolly told, said in 2015 as an update to the song, when I finished, he said, well, hell, if you feel that strong about it, just go on. <laughs> Providing I get to produce that, that record because that's the best song you've ever wrote. From there, the rest was history, and Dolly eventually left the show, and Porter produced her next record, Jolene. Jolene, 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 Jolene. That's as much as you're going to get from me. With I Will Always Love You on, on the track list, and the song became a multiple time number one hit. We know it as today. And Dolly and Porter even went on to perform it together at a special Grand Ole Opera show. Not Oprah, Opre, O-P-R-Y. She also reportedly sang it to Porter one final time on the day that he died, oh, in 2007. Ah, oh, R.I.P. In the end, Dolly says, I will always love you, represents her desire to make it clear to Porter how much she cared and appreciated him, even though it was time for her to leave the show. It's saying, she, fi she says finally, just because I am going, it doesn't mean I won't love you, she, she added. I appreciate you and I hope you do great and I appreciate everything you've done. But I am out of here and that would be Dolly. So that's your history, bio to the song 
and the wonderful Jesse J who sang an incredible version just like Whitney of it and Dolly yours will always be the one to be remembered each in their own way wonderful each in their own way perfectly delivered and a song that will be iconic for many years to come so no more requests for this song because I have just played I think the best cover version by the wonderful English singer Jessie J that's out there I hope you agree don't forget to comment and like and subscribe more of the same on my channel take care for now bye bye